everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday and we just finished doing our grocery shopping for the week. We went to our favorite organic stand at the farmer's market and we also went to Trader Joe's and picked up like the usual stuff we always get. So I wanna restock my fridge, clean it out, get it all nice and organized and do a light meal prep for this week. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Here's our haul for the week. We just got all of our leafy greens from the organic farmer's market. How good do these leafy greens look today? They look like super big and fresh. Kale, collard greens, carrots. That looks super good. We also picked up some farmer's market eggs. I wanna make some hard boiled eggs so I have those prepped. And then this is our usual haul that we, pretty much the same stuff we always get from Trader Joe's. These sparkling apple cider vinegar beverages are so good. In my Stanley cup, I mix it with sparkling water. We got our usual tempeh and tofu, some more produce our favorite milks that we put in our coffee, um, and a whole bunch of kombucha. We also got sparkling waters and four bags of these organic dried mangoes. These have been tasting so sweet lately. Run to Trader Joe's and get these organic dried mangoes while they're super sweet right now. So let's clean up the fridge, restock it, and then I wanna do a light produce prep this week. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do lots of meal prep videos like this one, and let's hop right into it. First, I need to make myself a refreshment because I'm parched after all that grocery shopping. Oh yeah, we also got all of our frozen berries, which are stuffed in here. I need a spare deep freezer, you guys. <sighs> all right, let's start by cleaning out the fridge. So here is my fridge before I start cleaning out and organizing it. We actually have quite a lot of produce in here at the moment, which I wanna prep some of this so that it gets used up first. And then I also just wanna wipe down all the crumbs in here. These drawers make it super easy to wipe down because they slide out. And I'm just using some orange cleaner on a wet rag. I don't wanna use like harsh chemicals near my food. So this ended up working really well. And next I'm just scooping out as many crumbs as I can. I don't wanna pull out everything out of the fridge and have it be sitting out for a couple hours. So I'm just kind of working around everything. The first thing I'm restocking is all of our beverages. Me and Colin love a little midday pick me up. So I bought us a lot of drinks. And next I'm gonna start washing our produce from the farmer's market so I can put that away all nice and clean in our fridge. You guys already know the drill. I'm using my favorite fruit and vegetable wash from Trader Joe's. This is made out of like all natural oils and safe to use on food. It's not dish soap, even though it kind of looks like it. And I buy so much leafy greens because me and my boyfriend both eat a salad every day. So I like to have all of our leafy greens washed and ready to go for our salads. And this week I'm thinking of doing either a week of salads or my favorite salad recipes video, so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing either of those videos. I'm not even gonna bother salad spinning these. This is my method for getting the water off. Now they're a lot drier. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna save this so I can make all my salads throughout the week. This helps absorb the extra water.
Next, I'm scrubbing down my farmer's market carrots so I can put those away. These are always super dirty, so I like to scrub them with this brush. And these farmer's market carrots are seriously the best. Don't they just look so good? They're always like extra big and super sweet. And I put them in a reusable bag to go in my fridge. Next, I'm washing all of the berries that I bought. I just like to soak them a little bit in my fruit and veggie wash and give them a good rinse. Then this is crucial. You have to dry them off really good before you store them away. So I just set them on this towel to dry off for about an hour. leftover cabbage that I'm just gonna shred up so we use it before it goes bad and I love having my shredded cabbage ready to go for my salads I like to try to shred it up really really thin I always like to prep a protein option, so I'm making some tempeh bacon that can either go on top of my salads or you can put it on like a breakfast sandwich. So I'm slicing up three blocks of tempeh into thin strips. So for my seasonings, I'm gonna use lots of date syrup. I'm gonna use maple syrup as well because bacon has like a maple, you know, like a maple bacon flavor. And I actually got this when I was at the farmer's market in Vermont. Came all the way from Vermont. I brought it with me. It's so good. And honestly, I just eyeball it. Then I'm gonna do some liquid aminos, probably a few teaspoons, smoked paprika to give it a little smoky flavor. And black pepper. A little bit of veggie broth to cover the tempeh. Whisk it up. Add in our tempeh. I'm gonna add just a little bit more seasonings because this is tripling the recipe, so I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I'm gonna use a little spray oil. And let's pop this in the oven. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, it's gonna spill everywhere. So next I wanted to use up these shiitake mushrooms that were in my fridge from last week. And I'm just making my favorite little chewy mushroom jerky pieces. I've already shown this recipe a couple times on this channel, but I'm just slicing up my shiitake mushrooms. For seasonings, I'm using spike seasoning and Mrs. Dash table blend. And I just toss that all together to coat the mushrooms and then bake at 375 for 15 minutes. Then once they're done, leave them in there with the oven shut off and that's how they get nice and dried out and chewy. Then I'm just stirring around the tempeh bacon pieces. And I baked those for about 30 minutes total. These mushrooms are seriously one of my favorite food. And here's my tempeh bacon. Then by that point, my strawberries were completely dry, so I just put a layer of paper towels at the bottom to absorb any extra moisture. And they stayed super fresh like this. They actually lasted me the entire week, which sometimes they can go bad quicker. And then I also saved some strawberries to cut up and put in my chia puddings that I'm gonna make.
Next, I'm just prepping some really simple protein chia puddings. I'm using ground chia seeds, some of my favorite chocolate protein powder by the brand Veg, ground flax seeds, and a half a cup of plain unsweetened milk. I'm using soy milk, but you could use any kind. These will thicken up in the fridge, and then I like to serve these with strawberries on top, and it's such a good snack or small breakfast. Here's my chia protein puddings. The last thing I want to make is some power balls because me and Kalawali, we love a little sweet treat. So I have some flax seeds. I'm going to add in a bunch of dates, peanut butter, plus peanut butter powder. One hundred percent cacao chocolate chips. And here is my fridge restock for this week. I have all of my lettuce prepped, some toppings to add onto my salads, my chia puddings and PB balls, and of course all of our beverages. I didn't bother washing the produce in the drawers because I'm just gonna wash that right before I go to use it. And most of it was just pre-cut and pre-bagged produce anyways. So thank you for joining me for another video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.